Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how I use hair, Afro kinky hair, to strengthen some of my weak and broken locks. I used to receive a lot of questions concerning how to repair broken locks and I just didn't know how to answer it but now that I'm actually head-on experiencing it myself as you can see in the clip I have a solution and I am so excited but I won't act like I came up with this on my own this is due to my great YouTube friend actually doing a video on this and I decided to try it out myself. So here I am using different tools. One of the tools that I'll be using is my three needle crochet um, hook, which is the 0.75 millimeter and the single needle crochet hook, which is also 0.75 milli millimeters, all by the brand Unique. Although I am showing you how I did this, this is not a tutorial, I'm just showing you how I did it. So the Afro Kinky hair that I've got, um, I only needed one full bundle because I didn't have a whole lot of hair to um, repair. So here I'm just taking just a small piece um, and palm rolling it together. Um, I'm going to start at the very top of the strong part of my locks and wrap loosely wrap that afro kinky hair around just a little bit and take my single needle crochet hook and back comb that hair to blend in to my stronger part of my locks and i am twisting the afro kinky hair gently around in a clockwise position um, until i twist some more and repeat the whole entire process so here I am continuing to twist down and crochet, 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 twist and crochet. Um, you will find yourself going over the same um, part of the lock again just to solidify that particular lock because you want to make sure that the Afro kinky hair is well meshed and entwined with your hair. So be very careful when you um, come into contact with your weaker part of your lock because that part of your lock is, is weak and you want to handle it with care. So because I had such a, a skinny part of um, that particular weak lock, I am wrapping the Afro kinky hair around that part again so that it has the same thickness as the rest of my locks. So be very, very careful and very, very light handed when doing this. Um, if you are doing this yourself, be careful, do enough research, try it out over and over and over again. But um, I would highly suggest that you visit a loctician who is licensed in this and has full experience um, just so that you are sure that you get the best results. But you know me, I love a great DIY. I'm really great with you know DIYs and trying things out myself, saving some coins, okay? So I'm just showing you how I did it. So um, here I am stitching it once again and wrapping the lock extension. Once I get um, to the bottom of it, I will wrap it back up again just to achieve that thickness um, because I certainly don't want the weaker part of the lock to look thin. The whole purpose of this is to create a consistent shape from top to bottom of my locks. Now from the looks of it, it is already starting to look good. Um, now that I've reached the base, I am wrapping the Afro kinky hair back up, upward until I am completely done wrapping. Um, but if I happen to run out of hair as I'm wrapping upward, I, I will go ahead and take some more hair, wrap it around that part of the lock and crochet. This crochet hook really does a great job in fine-tuning the part of the lock that I want to back comb. Um, if, you really, if, you, if you see the video, you realize that I don't exactly use the three needle crochet hook because I just have more experience with the single uh, needle crochet hook. It just really goes in and gives me a precise um, crochet job, a precise back combing because I want to back comb in, a small, in small portions so that's what the single needle crochet hook does for me. Um, so as you can see, it is looking a lot better. 
um, just take the time to palm roll, wrap around whatever hairs that is needed. I did take more hair and fill it out even more because I want a solid lock. I don't want it to over time thin out. So I'm adding some more hair and just wrapping around. One full bundle was just enough for me, but if you have a lot of locks that you want to um, mend and put together, then you might want to um, purchase another bundle. I do have all of the information down below as far as where I purchased this kinky bundle hair and where you can purchase the needles that I use in this video as well. If you are interested in lock extensions and making your locks a little longer, maybe you have some short locks that need to come into the same length as your other locks. I do have a video on that where I show you how I made lock extensions with the same bundle hair. So if you want, you can check out that video. I will link it up and in the description box so you can check it out later. So once I have a full congruent, thick, um, portion of my locks with the kinky hair, I will use the single needle to just go ahead and fine tune that work all over again. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and rightfully so with this particular job because it's very, very, very important to me to keep this hair on top of my head <laughs> and to um, use it for what it's worth, for what I'm, I'm using it for, which is to strengthen, keep my hair in a strong um, state and also to create that full look that um, I really love with locks. So it's really, really easy. Once you give yourself enough time to learn um, and to try it out yourself, practice, hey, you can do it yourself. I will link the video that I um, watched and that I learned from down in the description box as well um, in case you want to check out that video too. So once you're done palm rolling, it's really, really easy. Um, if the ends bother you, you can wrap it um, and then go ahead and crochet it again. But that's the look and I am very happy with it. So I've done a few of these on my head. I've repaired about over a little over 10 locks um, just because I am super, super intense on my hair and I want it to look a certain way. So if you're interested, go ahead and try it out. Anybody can try it. Um, just have some patience, some time. If you feel like you are not confident doing this, go ahead and seek the right loctician. I'm just showing you what I've done. Like I said, this is not a tutorial. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. I love you. Comment down below if you have any questions. And I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys. Bye.